Hi everyone, how are you? How are you feeling? What are you doing these days? I know it's a very difficult moment, but we need to stay inside, to stay safe, protect ourselves and the others and do our job. So for today, I have decided to tell you a story, to read you a book. And uh, I wanted uh, to talk to you about emotions, especially um, in this situation. Um, since we can't go out, we can't uh, meet our friends, we can't go to school and uh, see the teachers, see the other kids. I think uh, sometimes uh, it's normal, we can be sad, we can feel sad and uh, I wanted to talk about this emotion in particular. So, I have this book and it's called When Sadness Comes to Cold. What is a sadness? Remember at school or sometimes when the teachers ask you how are you? How are you today? And you can answer most of the times you're happy but sometimes you can answer Teacher, uh, I'm not feeling really good today, I'm sad, and it's okay, it's normal, it can happen. So, sad, I know you know uh, what it means, and sadness is tristezza, right? So, sadness. When sadness comes to call, quando arriva la tristezza? Let's see. And sadness comes to call. Sometimes the sadness arrives unexpectedly. See, it's coming through the door. The sadness. This uh, blue big thing. It's the sadness. It's the sadness. It follows you around. It follows you around and sit so close to you you can hardly breathe they're sitting really close to each other you can try to hide it he's trying to close the door to hide it away But it feels like you've become sadness yourself. So what can we do when we are sad? Hello. Try not to be afraid of sadness. Non abbiate paura della tristezza. Give it a name. We can name it. We can give it a name. Choose wherever name you like. We can name it uh, Peter, Susan, Margaret, Bobby, and uh, listen to it. Ask where it comes from and what it needs. Chiedete da dove arriva e di cosa ha bisogno. If you don't understand each other, sometimes it can happen, if you don't understand each other, you can just sit together and be quiet for a while. Sit together and be quiet. Find something that you both enjoy, like drawing, right? You love drawing, you like drawing. You always do these beautiful drawings at school. Listening to music, another thing you can do when you're sad. Or drinking hot chocolate. Do you like hot chocolate? I love hot chocolate. I always drink hot chocolate when I'm sad. Well, actually, even when I'm happy. <laughs> Maybe sadness doesn't like to stay inside 
maybe you can try to go out sometimes. Not these days. <laughs> these days you need to stay inside. But for when all of this will be finished, you can go for a walk and uh, through the trees into the woods, you can listen to their sounds together. Yes, the sound of nature. And maybe all the sadness wants to know is that it is welcome. They're hugging. They're friends now. And to sleep, knowing it is not alone. See, now the sadness is a blanket for the kid. Mm -hmm. It keeps uh, him warm. Loris Calda. When you wake up, it might be gone. See, it's not here anymore. Don't worry. Today is a new day. A un nuovo giorno. Finish. Did you like it? I love this book. I think it's really important to learn that it's normal to be sad. It's, it's not a problem. It's a normal to be sad. And when we're feeling sad, we can just do something, distract ourselves, the, draw, do a drawing or a painting, or we can play together with our parents, our grandparents. And then one day, poof, the sadness, it's not here anymore. So don't try to hide it away. And we need to learn how to deal with our emotion. So I think uh, I'm curious to know what do, what, um, do you guys do when uh, you're feeling sad? So maybe you can draw me, you can do a drawing and uh, with uh, what you do when you when all of you are sad potete fare un disegno in cui disegnate cosa fate quando siete tristi i'm very curious about it yes see you the next video bye guys